Firstly, Ben, congratulations on a, another magnificent achievement with Warrington Wolves getting to Wembley the third time in four years. What does it feel like personally? Oh, it's fantastic, Joe. We missed out, you know, last year against uh, Joe against a, a great side in, in Wigan, and uh, Joe they were hot on the day, and Joe it just shows the character in the team that Joe, you know, you know, we made a goal this year that we wanted to get back, and uh, and, and Joe we managed to achieve it. So. Uh, you know, it's great. It's great for club. Great for everybody in town. Everybody's buzzing again, and you know, all the excitement from the missed out on last year. I think they're, they're, they're going to put it into this year, and uh, you know, again, and, and we're looking forward to a good weekend away down at Wembley. Does the excitement stay with you as a player when you go in for the third time in four years? Is it still the same as the first time you went? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, it, it's a great occasion, and uh, it, it's something to that you, as a player, you're really proud of doing. And, you know, it's an achievement that Joe. You know, not a lot of players get the chance to do, and you know, uh, so I'm not going. I'm not going to waste these chances by you know, not getting excited about it. And you know, I'm going to. I'm going to get every bit I can out of out of the weekend as I can. Now it's a repeat of the 2010 final against Leeds again. I think they might have a point to prove this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have been. Uh, they have been too. They've been all right getting there, and you know, over the last uh, the last few years, you know, I think they've lost five or something on the bounce at the Wembley or four at the bounce, and. Uh, Joe, they'll be looking to turn things around, and Joe, and and, you know, and obviously it's, we're in the way, and they'll be looking to, to look to it. But Joe, so will we. We'll be looking to. You know, we won't. We've never lost there, and I think we might want to keep that record at Wembley. Joe undefeated, and uh, Joe, I think it's going to be a great game, to, great game to watch. And I know last year we we kind of. Uh, last time we played them, we kind of like dominated the game, and Joe you know, came out with a with, you know, with a convincing victory. Uh, I'm not too sure it will be like this, like that this year. Uh, I think it'll be a tough, tight game. When you look at the squad who won it in 2009, there's quite a lot of players who've gone now, and obviously a lot of new lads in the camp. What's what's it like seeing their excitement, the ones who were going for the first time? Yeah, people, you know, people like Chris Hill and that Joe you know, come up from you know from uh, you know, a division below, and you know, his first year in Super League, and you know, he's having a great, he's having a fantastic year, by the way, and. Uh, uh, Joe, now he's got his chance to, to play at Wembley. You know, it's great to see. It's great for everybody to see. Uh, you know, especially your own teammates who are getting excited. I, I know, I know a few of us have been there and done that. You know, for the last you know, three times now. And uh, but you know, again, it's always exciting as a player you know, to go back there. Wembley is just a, a, such a good occasion. You mentioned Chris Hill there. I mean, to me, he was probably one of the standout players of the victory over Huddersfield, and probably. Could have deserved the manager the man of the match award. He's been a great find for the club, hasn't he? Yeah, definitely. And he's getting he's getting he is getting better every week. And uh, do you know you want you want you want a thought of Joe at the beginning of the year that he'd be he'd be starting. You know, Joe, we had Big Moz and, and Gaz and you know, uh, Woody and Copes, uh, uh, Joe and a few others who Joe who are recognisable props who have been playing in the Super League and Joe to work his way up and to keep people like me, Marley out of the starting lineup. Joe, it's great for him and. Oh, it's great for us, and uh, Joe. It's just proved that Joe. There's players in that in that lower division who are looking to come up and are good enough for Super League, and Joe is one of them. Now we've talked a lot about Wembley and the cup. How do you stay focused on the league? Oh, I think it may be a bit easier this year. You know, with uh, Joe, I think six week or five weeks away from the final, so you know, there's a there's a chance for us to Joe you know, to put it to the back of his mind. Whereas last year, Joe, it were only a couple of weeks and they were there and. You know, so it, 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 won't, it won't quite as easy than you were always thinking about. But uh, you know, there's a chance now, Joe, you know, to put it to the back of his mind. Not 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 completely, but uh, you know, concentrate on you know, first of all, Cass, and you know, we've got a couple of big games coming up at the, at the you know, in this next five week, and uh, you know, we're looking to do well. And if we want to do well in the league, then we, we've got to do well uh, in these games, and so you know, we'll be looking for it. We'll be looking for some good wins. Just think, Warrington can still finish top of the league. Yeah, without a doubt, definitely. Joe, again, Joe, we have one, we're going to one of them. So, uh, Joe, we, if we 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 beat we good on that day, Joe, it, it turns us back to one. And Joe, it, anything happens these days. Joe, you're watching games, and Joe, who would have thought who would have thought Bradford would have beaten the other week at their place, and uh, Joe, and, and the likes of Joe again, us losing to Salford in such a, in such a thing in that Joe, nobody nobody sees it. And Joe, and it's happening every week with different teams and. Uh, you know, anything can happen, so yeah, we're still confident that we can, we can come top, and uh, you know, uh, it's, it's all in our hands. So uh, we'll be doing as best to do it. Is it important for you as a player to want to finish top of the league? Uh, I don't know. It, you know, it's nice. It is nice to finish top of the league, and uh, 
uh, you know, whether it's it's, it's really that important, you know, I'm not sure, Joe. I'd rather have a grand final ring than than uh, than a, a shield. Uh, what you get, but, but uh, Joe, again, like it'd be nice to get all th to to get them all, and uh, Joe, maybe we'll we'll be aiming for that. But Joe, if if we don't, I'm sure we'll settle for uh, we'll settle for a grand final. Well, that's one thing you've not done yet. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's one thing I've not done, and you know, it's it's one of the things that I'd like to do before before my playing days are over, and. Uh, you know, uh, I feel as though I'm at the right club to, to achieve that and uh, you know, I, I'll be, I, that's what I'll be looking for. Of course it's going to be a big end for the year for you personally because you've got your testimonial coming up and what better way than going to Wembley to sort of build up towards that? Yeah definitely, uh, Yeah, it, it got announced, uh, it, well it got offered to me a few weeks ago and uh, uh, you know, some, there's a few things in place at the minute, uh, you know, it starts starting at the end of the year in December, yeah, we've got a pantomime at Par all coming up and uh, uh, which should be should be fun, and I think we're going to Cinderella. I think it is. And, uh, and who are you going to be? I'm going to be the prince, I think. <laughs> prince Charming. <laughs> yeah, Prince Charming. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We haven't quite got that far, but Joe, it is books and people. That, Joe, we've got a few people that are helping out with this. Uh, so, Joe, hopefully, in the next few weeks, we'll, we'll have some uh, some organisation behind it. Can you believe ten years have flown since you first joined Warrington as a young centre running out at Wilderspool? <laughs> yeah. Where have all those years gone? I know it doesn't seem two minutes. To be honest, yeah, uh, it, it does. It does actually fly by. And Joe, uh, Joe, anybody who's watching this and they do play rugby, Joe, enjoy every single minute of it because you know, I might sound like a bit of an old fogey, yeah, but it does. It does. It does. Time just fly by, and Joe, I can't quite believe Joe it, it's coming to an end. But uh, Joe, hopefully, I've got a few more years left in me. But uh, Joe. Oh, I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed my rugby and Joe, and all I can say to anybody if they play it, they'll do the same. Have you got a standout memory over the last ten years? Yeah, Joe, I've got a few. Joe, obviously the first game here at Willis, uh, at Willis Bowl at, at HJ, and you know, that's the that's a standout game. Obviously, Joe, the Challenge Cup finals, they were, you know, they were big, uh, big standouts, and uh, Joe, over the, you know, managed managing to work myself into work my way into the England team, Joe, that were a big honour and. Uh, you know, there was there were goals that I set Joe as a young lad of what I wanted to do and Joe I have achieved them all these now is the is the grand final to do and uh, hopefully I'll achieve them all oh and beat the Aussies <laughs> and beat the Australians yet yeah, in England so that's <laughs> I can't pack in until that none of all of them have done okay well I'm sure you've got a few more years left in you yet Ben hopefully thanks for your time okay cheers.